The Arthrix iBalance PFJ system is designed for the treatment of localized or diffuse arthritic changes in the patellofemoral compartment of the knee. The completely instrumented technique focuses on creating key reproducible transition zones, reliable rotational alignment, and suitable femoral resection every time. Patellar preparation may occur prior to or after femoral preparation, depending on surgical preference. A caliper is available to measure the thickness prior to and after resection. The size of patellar component is assessed and lug holes are drilled to accommodate pegs on the domed patellar component. Soft tissues are elevated slightly using the blunt end of an extra medullary guide as it is inserted, ensuring it rests on the interior surface. A 5 mm intramedullary hole is drilled, matching native flexion. The entry point should be at least 20 mm posterior to the deepest aspect of the trochlea. The guide is removed. The side-specific base is inserted into the intramedullary hole. Rotational alignment is established and a pin is placed medially. The cutting guide is attached. The level of resection is established by a single stylus representing the thickness of all size components which minimizes the risk of overstuffing. First at the depth of the trochlea followed by the anterior aspect of the lateral condyle. This captured guide may be pinned into place and the resection is performed. The cutting guide and all alignment instrumentation is removed. Proper component size is established through size-specific finishing guides. A proximal position stylus rests on the articular cartilage, defining proper proximal distal position. Proper size ensures the component will not overhang at the anterior lateral aspect of the component, as represented by the shape of the finishing guide. Headed pins secure the block into place. The stylus is removed. An optional pin may be placed posteriorly for added fixation. Reamers are used to create the radius of the trochlear component, both distally and proximally. The radii created by the reamers are then extended using a series of guided osteotomes. Osteotomes are first used distally. They are then used proximally. A final osteotome is used to create a cleanup punch in the middle. These single-use osteotomes are custom-shaped and hollow ground, maximizing precision on both the medial and lateral sides of the trochlea. The finishing block is removed. A femoral trial is used to test establish proper transition zones transition. The trial is pinned laterally, a lug guide is positioned, then pinned medially, ensuring proper fixation. Three lug holes are drilled. Removal of the trial and lug guide may take place. An optional trial may be used or one can proceed with standard cementation.